Hi, I'm Tina Hill. I am half of Ladies of Villani, and we're back with an Ask a Villager. And today's guest is I'm Sue Evans. And um, what's your relationship <laughs> status? <laughs> Got a <of> dad. <laughs> well, I uh, recently have been widowed uh, this year. Um, widowed for about six months, okay. and uh, lost my husband about six months after we moved to the villages. So um, it's a new life for me here now. Hmm. And did you know, was he sick, was he ill when you moved here? So you? Yes, yes he was, but you know, um, he wanted to, we, you know, you always think there's more time. And so whatever time he did have, we wanted to um, live here. He wanted to enjoy the lifestyle and he had some time to do that, which I'm really grateful for. And, um, and I'm happy that I'm now here as a single person because, um, it's delightful. You know, there's so many wonderful people I have met and everything is new and it's taken me along in my journey. And, um, I enjoy, you know, finding out more and more every day, uh, you know, things that I can join or do, and I'm meeting someone new every day. So it's been And great. we met on the golf course. We did. So. All we did was say hello, and we became fast friends, so <laughs> right. it's great. Um, what village do you live in? I live in Lake Denham, which is, you know, the south end, and um, love it. You know, love it there. Do you feel like it's too far south, or you're... How do you feel about being that person? No, not at all. You know, it's funny because um, for the, you know, one thing is that I enjoy taking golf cart rides. And so this affords me, you know, 30, 40 minutes on the golf cart, to, it, which sounds, <laughs> I get it. Some people might say, oh my God, I wouldn't do that. But no, I enjoy that. Um, I mean, if I just want a short little hop, I find saw grass is great and uh, brown wood is you know, it's a half hour, but it's it's good. And uh, beyond that, um, like I say, I'll do uh, I'll go places um, if it's if the spirit moves me. If I feel like taking a golf cart ride, and uh, like for instance, I live in Lake Denham, and I'm here in Deluna. This is the first time I've you know experienced the the road the pathways <laughs> to get here. It was a little you know like unfamiliar, and I was hoping GPS got me in the right place but it did okay. and so here I am. Okay. Um, where did you and your husband live before you moved here? We lived in, in different places but the last place, place we lived was in Delaware. Uh, we were both born in California, yeah. native Californians. I was a southern uh, girl from LA and my husband grew up in Northern California near Oregon in Redding and um, then we met sort of in the middle. Uh, circumstances brought us together um, after he finished college and I was still living at home with my mother and dad and um, met in the Ventura Oxnard area. Um, then after we met, we lived there for a while, but we moved up to the San Francisco Bay area. Uh, job opportunities brought us to Pennsylvania Ooh. in 1990 and um, that's when we left the West Coast became East Coasters and um, I'm just gonna pull a little, little yeah, green thing yeah I was out pruning some I got caught my earring got caught in it I couldn't tell at first if it was part of your earring or oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes yeah, so I just throw I love plants okay. <laughs> so yeah we um, we moved to the East Coast in 1990, and I've lived, you know, lived in Pennsylvania for about 15 years. Then we moved to Delaware. Okay. And, uh, and how did you guys up. first hear about the villages? How did you hear about the villages before you? Well, um, we were boaters, and we had a really, we had really good friendship with a couple that were boaters also. And um, I have to give the credit to them because they knew about the villages. This was probably 20 years ago or so. And um, when we had a chance to get out to Florida together, they you know, showed us the villages. And um, 20 years ago, of course, was quite different, but it was great. Uh, you know, it was really fun to see and it was so unique and different. And um, of course, we were still quite a long ways away from any sort of retirement. So, um, 
But when retirement came along, I, you know, I still had that vision of what the villages was like. And we actually uh, wintered in Florida for about eight years. And one of the winters we spent in here in DeLuna. And um, I was sort of, I was sold on the idea. It took a little while to convince my husband, but I, <laughs> I loved it. Oh, good. And so why did you decide to live uh, in Lake Denham? Why did you want to? Yeah, I guess uh, we looked, um, we did look north. We, you know, we looked at resale homes, um, which were very nice, but I think we were just sort of um, more, we felt like, the newer the newer home and a new neighborhood meeting you know people that were in the same sort of right. uh, position as as us it would be a lot easier to get to to know people in a new neighborhood right. and so that's why we just all right let's and, do new. and after living here and knowing what you know now would you still choose Lake Denham or would you I mean I think if I you know yes I would at the time frame that it was had it been a little bit earlier, um, you know, maybe a little further north, like, well, Newell's not that much further north, <laughs> but um, but I think, what was it? There were St. Catherine, I think that was, uh, you know, that was being built in the year that we were uh, renting in Deluna, and, um, I, you know, more in line with the sawgrass area right was would be you know another ideal yeah another ideal spot yeah, yeah. I would probably do that it's not because it's below Brownwood but yeah. you're a little bit above sawgrass mm -hmm. and you're still going to be close to where Eastport's being built yeah um, yeah right it's not not difficult to get over to Eastport yeah. not at all um and you just moved here this year is that right 23 we moved yeah uh, oh, last year. Okay. So how long have you been Yes. Here? We moved in one year ago in uh, November 1st. It'll oh, be wow. one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and are you here full time? You're, are you a, a snowbird, snowflake, or a frog? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I'm full time, but uh, what is a, a snowflake? They go back and forth. Oh, and what's a frog? A frog is here till you croak. Oh. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, I could say that, I suppose. But um, yeah, no, full-time resident now, okay. which has been great. And so you're fully retired. You're yes, we moved here fully retired, yes. What did you do? Did you work in a, a previous life? I did. I did, um, you know, a few different things. I never had a full career, but I did. Uh, I worked in a law office, um, I w my uh, probably most recent uh, experience was with um, a commercial construction company, yeah. where we did a lot of. Uh, I worked as a an assistant project manager, and we did a lot of renovations and uh, Lowe's and built Lowe's and Home Depots <laughs> and that kind of stuff. And then, probably the thing I enjoyed the most was when uh, we moved to Delaware. I you know, I left my job and I started up my own um, up uh, boat interior oh, uh, business. Nice. And I updated boat interiors because we were boaters, and I found a lot of business that came to me. And so I did that for about ten years. Uh, we were boaters for twenty-five years, and uh, the last ten of those years, I, you know, I. I worked in uh, in that uh, sort of business, and I enjoyed it. But then, when you know, we moved to Florida, or even before. Do you do any boating here, or have? No. Do you want to? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right then. Yeah, it uh, it was. Because I know there are people that do boat here. Yeah, really. Yeah. You know, it was one of those things when it was when we were in it, it was great. But when we moved to Delaware um, with our last home. We sold our boat and then we took up golfing, okay. and that kind of, you know, uh, that took over. You have to focus on the one time. big thing at a time. Yeah. So now that you're here full time, um, do you have a favorite venue where you uh, like to enjoy music or dancing? Are you a line dancer? I always ask, are you a line dancer? Do you like to dance? Not so. I do like line dancing. I took a class when I was living in Delaware. I haven't tried it here yet, but. Um, like you know every time it's every now and then i'll see line dancing and you know when we're at the squares or 
and try to, you know, join in. And some of it starts coming back, you know, you, you almost really lose. get ready to get up. <laughs> yeah. So where's your favorite um, venue? In terms of like what square? Or, yeah. Or yeah, I, I for music for music for music probably uh, Brownwood or Lake Sumter. Uh, I mean Sawgrass is wonderful too. It's very convenient. It's very convenient, <laughs> and you know it's great because you can choose to either if you like to get something to eat. You know it's got that great marketplace and mm -hmm. a variety of things you can get. Sit outside and eat it, or you can you know visit the restaurant there, McGrady's. Right. Um, do you have a favorite band or bands when you go to the square? Yeah, I'm, or you I'm follow any band? really bad at that. I don't remember the names. I, you know, I... What kind of music? What kind of... Well, I do like the oldies, but the goodies. Um, Is it Rocky and the Rollers? Rocky and, Ro and the Rollers are great, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'm just starting to kind of, you know, zoom in on, on the different names of the bands and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, so going back to food, mm. um, do you have a favorite restaurant if you want to splurge? Yeah, well, let's see. Um, always loved seafood. Um, let's see. Uh, I do like, um, in Spanish Springs, there is this uh, Coastal Del Mar. Yeah, I like there. Lovely, lovely food. Lovely, you know, I mean, the presentation is beautiful. The food is it's mm -hmm. very, very good. Um, Bluefin at, at uh, uh, I think it's Brownwood, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yep. Bluefin is good food. And um, outside of the villages, if you wanted to venture over to the Venetian Gardens in Leesburg, oh. there's a ski beach. It's called Ski oh, Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it, it is all seafood, but you're also sitting out on, you can sit out on the patio and uh, look at the water what, uh, water that's over there. It's, I can't remember the name of the lake that's out there, but um, yeah, that's very nice there. The seafood's fresh and great. And um, uh, so, you know, that kind of splurge is, okay. is fun to do. Um, what about, are you a pizza person? Do you... Not so much, okay. not so much with that. But There's always a debate of who has the best pizza or is there a good pizza well, in or around the villages. Yeah. I'll tell you though, um, I did go with friends to Paisano's for the very first time. I'm sure you hear about Paisano's a lot. I've never been there, but it's oh. come up a lot. Um, I'm also supposed to uh, be, for the most part, gluten-free. They have a wonderful cauliflower crust pizza. Mm. It's delish, okay. and so it's good for anybody to, okay. you know. What about breakfast or brunch? Oh, I love breakfast with friends. <laughs> <laughs> love breakfast with, I have my little, my girls that we, my neighbor ladies that we go and do breakfast regularly. Um, do just, you switch around the spots you go to, or do you have a regular? Yeah, we switch. We, we like to try different places. What's, um, what's some of the favorites so far? Um, I guess, what's the name of that new place that opened up in Lake Deaton? The, Toasted Yolk? The Toasted Yolk. I just went there. <laughs> Thought it was very, very good. It was good. Uh, it's big, too. And I think they're ready for a big crowd. I think so. Come winter time. And they're really trying really hard, you know, because yeah. they're trying to get customers over. The funny thing is when I walked in with a friend and she's like, there's a bar. Like all of the new breakfast places now, everywhere you walk in, there's a big bar, you know, like bar setting. Oh, yeah. To go eat at the bar. Oh. Like not, like, you know what I mean? But you could sit at the counter. Right, But right. she's like, it's a bar. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice atmosphere uh, exactly. for sure. Yeah. Um, what about, do you have a best advice for airport transportation? Well, I've only used groom uh, and I've had the best, I've had certainly very good luck with them. I've done um when your daughter comes to visit yeah do you uh they usually drive they're, they're oh, driving they in from virginia oh, oh okay but um after my husband passed away i wanted to go to delaware and visit some friends and family and um i for the first time you know took room to the airport easy peasy uh uh, reliable on time it okay. was easy to sign up yeah. do you have a favorite pool and golf course oh wow that's a good question well um of course if i were to say which one is my 
favorite, I'd have to say Fenny, even though it's not a neighborhood pool. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of the wooded uh, surroundings and, and the fact that you can go there, you can order something when you're yeah. sitting at poolside. That's a real treat. Uh, I don't go there that often, but when I have company, I like to take my guests there because right. uh, it's a fun thing to go do. What about golf course? And then golf course. Um, oh, I mean, on a regular basis, um, I do the executive courses. And I'll say for those, um, I would say Red Fox. I like, I think okay. it's, yeah. Yeah, it is pretty. It, it's pretty. And then I tried not too um, long ago, I was at Shallow Creek in Eastport. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous. I only That's championship? It's a championship course. And then we have a new, you have a new, I say you, but down by you, the new executive opening up in a couple weeks. Really? Yeah, I think it's Laurel Laurel Oaks. Oh, there's a pitch and putt and an executive course opening up in the Eastport. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm glad to know that. Um, what's your favorite activity in the villages besides uh, golf? Besides golf, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just going to the squares. Um, I've tried the um, oh, what it, uh, the drumming. Oh, in cardio the, drumming. Cardio drumming. That's in, fun in the pool, which oh. is quite interesting. And some of the, yeah, some of the, the, you know, the exercise in the pool was fun. Um, I haven't tried a lot of other activities yet. I Is there I, something you want to try? Yes. Um, I'd like to try the uh, Zumba. Oh. I think there's Zumba classes. And I thought, one time I did go, I got the, you know, courage up to go and uh, the class was canceled. Oh, so uh, how disappointing! Especially yeah. when you were like, "I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I do it." I was gonna get my uh, <laughs> get my game on there, and yes, I think the instructor had a an injury or something, so they can't. The class was canceled, but um, I'm gonna go back. I'm okay. gonna try it. All right, you'll have to let us know. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite club that you belong to in the Rogers? Um, I just I'm learning a little bit more about the parrot head. Oh, Parrot's head. I know some, I have some friends in there. And uh, the good work that they do. They do uh, a like lot. Like a big blood drive and yeah, I know they do a lot of stuff. And, yes, and they do donate to charities. There's charity work. There's good things, you know, that goes along with the social aspect mm -hmm. of it, which they certainly have a lot of social aspects. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I'm sort of dipping my toes a little bit. I uh, I went to one of the singles and surrounding areas uh, uh, group that met at Lake. So Sumter. is that when you say surrounding? So it's not just the villages. Correct. It's, and yeah. how do you find being single after being widowed here? Oh well, I mean, yes, it's a it is a process. You know, um, you go through a lot of. Uh, changes and stages in this process and um, right. I mean I'm coming out of my grief and I'm realizing that um, I have all this opportunity to begin again and I need to keep moving forward I'm just sort of like that kind of person that has to have a goal each day to move forward bring myself forward and I feel like you know, it's been six months, but I feel like I've, you know, I haven't stayed stuck in being in this grieving. I, I've had time to grieve, but now it is time for me to continue on mm. with life. And, you know, life is short and mm. I, I want to spend it being... It is, and I'm yes. not sure how long your husband was sick for, but if you were a caregiver, I was. that also is for a long time, because yes. my, my mom went through that too. Yes. Um, but I'm sure it's, it's, it's a lot. It did take, well, he was ill for nine months and um, it was probably about a year and a half uh, between his illness and then our move here and living here. And uh, that, you know, I really gave up. I didn't golf, you know, it was just the focus was right. just keeping him, you know, comfortable and, and all that. So yes. Yeah, that took a chunk of of time in my life. So, and so, how do you find this the new group? Was it 
intimidating? Were, were they welcoming? Were you found people in a similar situation as you? Or yeah, I found a mix of, of uh, situations with people. Some were, uh, you know, in my situation with being uh, losing a spouse. Uh, you know, could certainly people that had been divorced for many years, and um, or those that have never been married and still mm -hmm. looking, and um, and you know, I was it. It's always difficult to walk into new situations and not knowing what you're going to, what to expect. But um, I find if I just go do it, you know. Well, like, that's half the battle. Yes. A lot of times is just walking through the door. Exactly. Yes. And I think a lot of people, when they're moving to the villages or thinking about coming to the villages, because you're usually you're over fifty-five. And you're like, if I'm single, for, uh, uh, no matter what the circumstances, is there a place for me? Yes. And? Yes. And I'm finding there is. Okay. And I've even met people in this surrounding area, plus the villages. There are some really nice, I met some very nice uh, people, lovely women that um, live outside the villages that I uh, could, you know, easily hang out with and as well. But um and then there is, there's a couple other groups that are really only a part of the villages as mm -hmm. well for single people. So, you know, there's, there's opportunities. Okay. <laughs> um, we're going to flip to a less yes, serious yes, question. Yes. Go back to golf cart, gas or electric? Oh, gas, <laughs> gas. That yeah. was my husband's uh, preference. Yes. He, he felt like It'll well, he, get you where you need to go, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, I mean, he knew that, you know, we were real golf cart travelers, not only for golf, but we wanted to kind of like, you know, keep, go, we actually, which when he was alive, we got in the golf cart and went from Lake Denham all the way up to Spanish Springs. Wow. And, you know, it was over an hour golf cart ride, but, um, you know, we, we wound our way around, found our way up there, and... You weren't uh, looking, is my battery going to make it since yes. you had gas? <laughs> yes. Am I going to make it home? And uh, it's very economical, so okay, works out. Um, do you have a favorite beach? Have you visited any beaches nearby? Within driving distance since you've been here? Not since I've been here. We are very, uh, very familiar with Daytona Beach because we wintered there. Mm -hmm. Daytona Beach or New Smyrna Beach. If I were to go to a beach, uh, which I haven't yet, that would probably be my choice. Although I hear other people go to, you know, the west side, the west coast, uh, which is a little further distance, but it sounded pretty nice. I mean, I think a friend of mine said that she likes to go to, what's one of the beaches out there on the west side? Um, Maybe it was Tampa or Sarasota. I can't remember exactly, mm. but um, you know, people do go out that way, and that right. would be fun to try. Okay. Um, and what's your, what when your daughter or your friends come? What what are your favorite places to take them besides the squares? Besides the squares, <laughs> in the villages or outside? In and out. In and out. Well. Um, or. <laughs> well, my, when my son came with my grandson, we got pretty adventurous, and it's great to go up to uh, Silver Springs if you want to uh, swim with manatees, and that was at my grandson's 10 years old, so that was a pretty awesome activity. He enjoyed that. Um, of course, go, going to the Kennedy Space Center, that Ooh. you have to do that. You know, it's like, uh, it's a fabulous uh, trip to do. And um, even in, um, not far from, from where I am, oh, I've forgotten the name of the lake, but there's a lake that's not too far from Lake Denham where I took my grandson on an airboat ride. And it's almost, it almost has huh. like an Everglades feel to it. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a fairly rural uh, part of um, that area. I, it's, it's up more towards as you're going towards Ocala but not certainly not as far and um, so those kinds of adventures I love to do um, they are all adventurous yeah yeah <laughs> you gotta get out there <laughs> um, what's your best kept secret in the villages God I don't know <laughs> something that a lot of people um, don't know about that you about might... me that I like well just it yeah anything in the mm. villages that you think a lot of people don't know about but you think is great or interesting or activity 
place to eat, you know, mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. mm. God, that's a hard question. <laughs> I can't think of anything really other than, um, you know, that, you know, being so far south in Lake Denham, I think that the majority of people that live further north uh, don't realize that we have uh, a lot of uh, amenities and, and activities that are going on. And I think that um, now with Eastport become building up, you know, the, the opportunities are endless. I mean, we'll have lots of access to almost, you know, golf courses, restaurants, uh, sports center, arts, and, mm -hmm. you know, we'll have that within, okay, it's, a few you years. Know, yeah, within a few years and, and maybe a half hour to get to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your advice for making friends and meeting new people? I'd say, you know, the best thing you could do for yourself is to push yourself a little bit, maybe mm -hmm. get out of your comfort zone. And you know, we're all sort of guilty of that. We all uh, get comfortable in our own way, in our ways. And um, I think that's one very important thing if you want to remain active and young and uh, vital is to not just stay stuck in where you are and you know, put yourself out there. And right. just one little, baby step at a time. Mm. Well, what was something that surprised you after you moved here? Something that surprised me. Um, how welcoming and how friendly people really are. Yeah. And you never know um, uh, when you're just coming into a new neighborhood, what you'll find or a new community. And um, I did find the village's um, services and people that I you know had to deal with when we first moved in I I have to give uh, them credit for being really great I can you know I had all good experiences really um, what's something you learned how to do after you moved here <laughs> uh, probably the biggest thing is is learn how to uh, become a single person mm. and um, you know my husband all the things that he did, mm -hmm. I had to learn how to do. And um, that wasn't easy. And um, I took a long time and took a while to to get to know how to do, it. Uh, for example, like our finances, that was a biggie. So um, I Did took, he prepare you as he was getting? We did a little bit of that towards the end. Yes, I, I kind of, uh, you know, asked him, had to ask. What's the password for? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Passwords yeah. play. Yeah, it's a tough subject to approach with right. your, with someone who is. I can imagine. Have has limited time, but we did, and um, you know, he he certainly wanted to leave knowing that I was okay, right. and so that um, oh. that's how it went, and it was okay. It worked out. All right. What's something you wish you knew before you moved here? Something I wish I knew. Wow, your questions are good. <laughs> They're really thought provoking. <laughs> but oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I will say that uh, even driving the roundabouts. I mean, I had no experience in driving the roundabouts. Just something in the as beginning, you're that. kind of like, ah. yeah, it's like. Take the first exit. What's the first exit? I'm going, you, know, is, you mean the second? No, the first. So yeah, that was that was a learning curve. Um, so yes, just and actually for me in my case, I was the driver, and uh, my husband could no longer drive. So it did force me to learn how to get around. And <laughs> I'm not the best at directions. And maybe if I you know, took a little more time to learn the topography or the layout of the villages and all this other stuff, which I always I'm still rely. learning. Yes. You know? Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, that, a little bit of knowledge of that would have helped me mm -hmm. a lot. <laughs> what did your family and friends say when you said you were moving to the villages? Oh, my goodness, yes. I mean... They understood our situation and actually they gave us a lot of credit for, you know, just going with something that was 
not necessarily the easiest path, but you know, doing what it was that we wanted and didn't letting anything stand in our way. And yeah. your children felt the same way? Yes, they were very supportive. Oh, yes, good. they were. Um, so finish this sentence. You'll never believe it, but in my life before the village's eye. Oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what would surprise us about you? Oh, I'm kind of like an open book, I think. But um, if I didn't know the boat interior design, I would have said that would. Well, have been maybe one, but... that. Yes, I did have, I you know, I did have a past life for sure uh, before moving to the villages. In that past part of my life, um, was a, um, you know, it was a talent that I mean I enjoyed sewing but I never knew how far I could take it. Yeah. And uh, so it was kind of like a hidden talent, even to myself. And once I started, I realized how creative I could be and um, how well my products turned out and uh, how, how much people liked it. So thank you, I, that, that, that helped me. <laughs> um, finish this sentence, I really wish the villages had. Okay. I'm sure I thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I did. Let's see. Um, I mean, I think the villages are very well thought out. I wish that, you know, where I live, there were some, uh, there was a better um, access on, on off of Megasin uh, to cross Megasin to get across Megasin where you where you are at that point at Sawgrass, you know, you're trying to cross into traffic. I would have liked, instead of putting the golf cart traffic on Megasin, have something like the, um, you know, the multimodal trails mm. through um, the southern part of the villages. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I felt that that was kind of shortcutting Okay. Our little in our little area, yeah. And then lastly, um, I think Eastport will be oh fantastic, and I will be there, and I will enjoy it, and I. Are you going to go to the ribbon cutting? <laughs> Is there? I'm sure there will be. <laughs> I, I probably will. Either. Yeah, I. Um, you know, we had even considered Eastport uh, as a place to to buy into, but it was. You know, we were ready sooner than Eastport, right? And um, I really didn't, you know, in a very in the very early stages of the building uh, construction, I didn't really want to get into that. So I'm glad we did move where we moved, but um, it's going up very quickly. Uh, new things are opening there every day, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very. I think it's very exciting. I really want to visit the. Um, what's the name of the new uh, art center there is it the tracy the tracy that's yes. a, a, i believe that's in the high school they said in i the, haven't been in there but yeah it's a or, performance center is it? yes I, I think i think you're right yes <laughs> or it's part of the campus or something yeah, yeah something like that yeah so that and the sports center and um yeah I, oh, one thing i'd like to experience is watching a polo game I haven't done that either. Yeah, that is sounds pretty pretty cool yeah. and exciting. So okay. that would be something I'd like to go do. And I think the season is coming up soon. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. Oh, thank you. You're a great guest. Well, thank you. <laughs> it was very fun. Okay. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we will see you again. Thanks. Bye. If I can turn it off. It's fine. <laughs>